The Rainier Square Tower is a 58-story building in Seattle that was supposed to take 21 months to be erected. This was if the core of the building was constructed with traditional cast-in-place concrete shield walls. Instead, the building erection took 11 months, and this was achieved by using speed core as the main system to build the shield walls, which we'll learn about in this video. Let's go. So what is speed core? It is a shear wall made with steel plates on each side. And then we have steel studs or tie rods that connect the plates to each other. And then the sandwich panel is filled with concrete. The construction starts in the shop where the panels are made and shipped to site, much like a unitized curtain wall system. Now you may be wondering what makes it go so much faster than traditional casting place concrete shear walls. Well, let's get into the pros. Speed core can support about four floors of decking before the concrete is even poured. Multiple floors can be erected while the concrete is still being poured, which cannot be achieved if the shear wall is made of only concrete. This can make possible erecting up to four floors per week. Because the overall construction gets shorter, tenants can occupy the building much sooner, which in turn generates more revenue. Speed core is a non-proprietary system, which is huge because the design methods will make their way into design provisions, design guides, and many companies will be able to, to benefit from this revolutionary system. It is very common to have tolerance issues when you have embed plates that are in concrete shear walls connecting to steel beams. Because steel and concrete have different construction tolerances, this is a common construction issue. However, with speed core, you have steel beams connecting to steel walls. So it's the construction tolerance of only one material, which minimizes errors and field fixes. Now onto the cons. First is cost of material. The price of steel and concrete are always fluctuating. Right now, the price of steel is much higher and we see many building designs changing from concrete frame buildings to steel buildings. However, if you use speed core, because the construction is so much faster, that cost may still be offset by the overall savings. The next two cons are related to comfort level. The first one is that engineering firms and structural engineers in general may not yet feel comfortable with learning this new system and understanding how everything behaves and how everything works. AISC is publishing a design guide which will help a lot of other structural engineers take advantage of the system. And I think even when this design guide comes, a lot of structural engineering firms may still be comfortable with using the traditional ways of designing mid and high-rise buildings. I think it will take time until speed core becomes mainstream. If you want to know the technical details, how Purdue University helped with the research that went into speed core and many other collaborators, I have a lot of links in the description below for you to check out. Even MathCAD sheets that Purdue put together for people to see how the calculations are performed. There is also a ton of information on a webinar published by AISC, the structural project manager from Rainier Tower, went through a lot of details on how that project came about. But if you're not up for a one-hour video, check out my one-minute video on the future tallest buildings in the world. And I'll see you next time.